Don't tell me not to live, just sit and putter. I found my people. And that was the moment that we decided to stan Leah Michelle. <laughs> I'm a loser. That was a spark of genius. I bloody love it. <laughs> One of my life goals is to meet John Stamos on a plane and get him to tell me that I'm pretty. Hi, how are you? I hope that you're very, very well. Am I in focus? I don't know. Just repping a bit of Be More Chill merch today, my friends. Now, um, I did quite a few videos about Glee, and if anybody ever asks me to do videos, they say, Amy Pussy, do more Glee videos. So last night I was in bed watching the quarterback episode again for the hundredth time, crying my eyes out, and I thought, I want to share my most unforgettable and favorite moments of Glee. So here they are. If you're interested, in any of my old Glee videos, I'll leave a playlist to them down below. And if you're new here, hi, my name's Amy, I love Glee. <laughs> I'm a loser. Not that people who like Glee are losers, but I am actually a loser, so it just happens that they go hand in hand with, for me. Okay, so yeah, coming in at number one, it's probably the most unforgettable moment in Glee history, and it was the quarterback episode, and it's heartbreaking. I don't think any TV show has ever made me cry like that episode. Maybe the last episode of Friends, maybe they're like joint together. Such an awful thing that happened, and I thought that they handled the episode really well, and Leah Michelle singing Make You Feel My Love is just, I mean, it's breathtaking. I remember literally the moment that I heard about what happened to Corey. I was on a train in France and I was heartbroken and I thought that the way that they did it in the episode was amazing. That was a very big, unforgettable moment for me. Brittany and Santana finally getting married. I did a video that was like, if Glee came back now, and I was talking about Brittany and Santana having different girlfriends and everyone was like, oh, you did they got married. Uh, yeah, because I'm not stupid. But <laughs> this was one of my favorite moments. I love Britney and Santana. I think it's so important that they had that storyline in Glee and for so many young people growing up and seeing themselves represented on screen. I just think it was a great thing and I really like applaud Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk and Ian Brennan for writing such complex characters. And when they wrote their wedding, oh, it was pretty and beautiful and no, I loved it. <laughs> Okay, I don't think this would make it onto many people's lists, but a really unforgettable moment for me was when Kurt first joined the Warblers and Blaine was like, yeah, guys, I'm gonna go and ask out this guy who works at The Gap. <laughs> and then they went and he did this amazing performance and Darren Chris is my ultimate love, so anything that he does is like top of the list for me. But yeah, he asked out this guy and then he turned him down and I thought it was such an iconic moment. I don't know why, it really stuck in my head Head. Maybe it's because it's something that I would definitely do, but never have the balls to do it. So um, obviously we understand why, because it doesn't work out very well. <laughs> no, I love that. That was a definite highlight for me in the Glee series. I don't know why. I don't feel like that would be that interesting to many other people, but for me, it's right up there. Okay, a really, really iconic moment has to be Bohemian Rhapsody. I've spoken about it in a couple of videos, but it's where Quinn Fabray is giving birth to her baby and Vocal Adrenaline are doing a performance of Bohemian Rhapsody at the same time and it's interwoven. And I'll never forget when she's literally giving birth and she's going, let me go, let me go. And they're like, Bismillah, no, they will not let me go. And she's like, let me go. Iconic. I mean, whoever came up with that idea, Grammys, Emmys, Oscars, Tonys. You should have got all the awards because that was a spark of genius. Come on. One of the most iconic moments was the Britney episode. You know where they like, where they had the teeth? <laughs> where they had the teeth? If you've not seen it, you're like, what the? Emma was going out with John Stamos. <laughs> One time she met John Stamos on a plane and he told her she was pretty. One of my life goals is to meet John Stamos on a plane and get him to tell me that I'm pretty. Anyone else? Anyway, John Stamos. Oh yeah. <laughs> John Stamos comes in and he gives them all something that like shows if they're brushing their teeth or not And do you remember Rachel having her blue teeth as well? It was very funny And then Britney and Santana went to the dentist and got put under and then they had like Britney dreams Iconic when Britney was literally there We don't deserve it. It was an iconic moment unforgettable favorite whatever you want to say I loved it. I was there for it Another great moment for me was Like a Virgin. I just love that song anyway. I love a bit of 80s Madonna. I thought it was <laughs> very funny that they were like into, into 
splicing into weaving sections of the teens, also with Emma Pillsbury <laughs> losing her virginity. And it was just quite funny and I loved it. And it's one that I listened to again and again. It's great. Okay, another great moment that I literally remember the first time I saw was when the Glee Club performed Like a Prayer. Again, I love an 80s Madonna hit. And you know what? Glee gave me lots of those, but specifically the Like a Prayer. I do a great impression of everybody in Like a Prayer because I listen to it all the time. My favorite thing is impersonating Kurt. <laughs> I won't do it now. <laughs> Follow me on TikTok and I might do it on TikTok. <laughs> I, I have no shame. I have a TikTok and I love it. It's my new favorite thing, so anyway. I'm getting sidetracked. Yeah, and when Mercedes Jones is belting her face off and then the choir comes out and Rachel's singing, oh! Honestly, it does not get better than Like a Prayer. I think it's probably my all-time favorite Glee cover. It's probably the one I listen to the most, either that or Poker Face, because I love that too. <laughs> but it's pretty iconic, let me just tell you that for sure. Okay, one of my favorite moments ever is when the Glee Club sing We Found Love, which is a song that I'm not a big fan of, but when Artie just yeets himself into the pool, here's a clip. <laughs> I don't know. All the awards should be given to that moment in TV. Could <laughs> you imagine them filming that? I just, <laughs> just can't. Oh, it's amazing. I bloody love it. <laughs> Another very iconic moment is the first time the Glee Club performed Don't Stop Believing at the end of the first episode. I mean, it was just the best, wasn't it? When Glee first started, basically like six months or something before they released it on TV, they released like a 20 minute segment of the show and it had the end of Don't Stop Believing in it. And I remember the first time I watched it, I was like, <gasps> There are people out there who understand me. Little Blackpool Amy didn't think that there were other people out there who had the same love of theatrical life that she did. And that was the moment I thought, I found my people. And I love it. There's nothing more iconic, unforgettable, amazing. <laughs> Why am I so like extra today? There's just nothing better than seeing the Glee Club in their red tops and their little jeans doing the arm grabs. Da da! Cigarette smoke room. Smell a lot of cheap perfume. That's the wrong key, I think. Yeah, I mean, it just doesn't get better, does it? It just does not get better. My last one is when Rachel burst out at the back of the auditorium singing, don't tell me not to live, Justin Putter. And she did Don't Rain On My Parade. And she absolutely killed it. Now, my mom is like a hardcore, What's the word? Like, she she often likes the original and like, you can't beat the best. And I remember watching that episode with my mum and she said, she sings it just like Barbara and just as good as Barbara. And I was like, <gasps> mum. And that was the moment that we decided to stan Liam Michelle. <laughs> I've gone so hyper today. Yeah, I, I loved that moment. It was great. <laughs> um, and I love Glee and I'm so glad that Glee is still in our hearts today. Anyway, they are just 10 of my favorite, most iconic, um, unforgettable Glee moments for me. I'd be really interested to know what yours are as well, and I'd be interested if you would like a part two of this, because I will definitely do it. As I say, I will leave a link to my other Glee videos down in the box? What's it called? Description box? Thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't before. And um, yeah, thanks for sticking around. I guess I will see you shortly for another video. <laughs> see you soon. I love you lots. Bye.